Hi, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like whenever I play Phantom Forces, I always die to the very same guns every time. The M16A3, the BFG, I love dying to the BFG. I don't know, the Sega 12, the RGD5, the HK416. I want to switch it up. So I asked my subscribers what the most underrated setups in Phantom Forces were. And here they are. So I got a lot of comments about the X95R. And I'm actually going to use two setups on this. The first one is going to be with the 300 Blackout. Now, this is a quite quite the interesting conversion, I'd say. It makes the gun way more close range oriented, from what I can tell. I mean, I'm not that great at this, but I think so. You know, it gives it a three shot at range, but it brings a long range damage down to a six shot and uh, it also decreases the fire rate so i don't know we'll see how good this is if there's one thing i can say though it's that i don't see the x95r very often it does seem like it has underrated potential written all over it and uh dbv12 what a surprise okay there we go another kill i, I just got to get into a rhythm that's what we need oh look a bfg i love how everyone just puts the most random attachments on the bfg Holy, okay, I'm getting destroyed. They're really telling me to just quit the game. No, a rank 486. It's over for me. It, it's it's Jover, man. Okay. I'm playing I'm playing against world champions, but I'm still getting kills. There we go. Quad kill. That's just what I need. Multi kill. Okay, now the energy is flowing. Let's go up here. Yeah, let's do that. My favorite place to be on Bazaar. I need the free kills. Just like that. There we go. I'm starting to like the gun very much, actually. 850 fire rate and a three shot, if I'm remembering that correctly. I mean, that's that's actually pretty decent. Anyways, okay, I think that was a pretty good run. I want to try the other setup now, which is a bit more long range. Um, So we got armor piercing and uh, we're just going to put a green laser. That was almost a terrible start. But yeah, so instead of a instead of a three to six shot, it's like a four to five shot, I think. But we have more fire rate and we have less recoil. Uh, but we have the penetration from the armor piercing, so that should be good. I'm really enjoying the, the less recoil. These are like Olympic... Wow. I don't even know what that was. No, but this is this is the Olympic team I'm up against. Oh my god. Okay. I need to find that rhythm again. <laughs> I Should I just server hop at this point? I mean, it's not going great. I... I Dude, there's actually nothing I can do. I'm I'm actually getting obliterated. I would like that kill, though. All right. I want to see if I can get this guy, though. Okay, I got one kill. All right. I, I never got the BFG guy. It wasn't successful, the round. It just wasn't. I like the gun, though. It was pretty fun, despite everything. All right, next gun. Okay, so this next guy gave me the Groza 1. It's actually the Groza 3 with the setup he recommended. But he gave me two setups, one for hip firing and one for, like, I guess, ADSing. I'm just going to use the ADS one, but we'll see how it goes. Just because we're on highway, probably not going to be hip firing too much. Okay, this is kind of... It, it feels kind of weird. Okay, but yeah, it doesn't have a lot of recoil, does it? which is something I really like, as I'm guessing most people do. I kind of want to check the damage. So interesting, 700 fire rate, and it's a four to a six shot. I, um, I'm i kind of confused as to what would make this like good, aside from the recoil, because uh, the damage isn't that great. Recoil is obviously pretty good. Check the penetration. One set of penetration, so like not seeming like super good at the moment. And like 700 fire rate isn't too bad, but it's not amazing. Okay, it's, it's definitely the recoil. This is just a no recoil setup. All right, please, let me get up here. I made it. Okay, let's test the no recoil. Pretty solid. I mean, I just don't know where to shoot him. I kind of want to try a longer range sight. Oh, no, he just, he just came out of the cubicle. Like, what? Okay, that was the first kill I'm, like, semi-proud of. Okay. Okay, that is nice. I like that. Uh oh, oh, you're you're toast, buddy. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, this thing has no recoil. It does have a little bit of camera recoil, but like the spread has got to be non-existent. Okay, these guys up here are not surviving this. Let me tell you, he, what? <laughs> I'm losing my eyesight. Wow. I only saw the guy laying down until like very, very late into that gunfight. It's a good flick though. Bro, what is that strategy? He was like laying down, but nowhere near to the cover. I love using this on people who are not moving, except for that guy. What? Yeah, the damage is, it's bringing the gun down for me. 
I mean, I just it just feels like you need so many shots to kill someone. Which you do. <laughs> See, look at that. So many hit markers. I mean, yeah, this, this gun just embodies everything that no recoil stands for. I, I like it. Okay, I like it. If you really want to make good use out of this, you got to pretty much hit all your shots. Which, if you have good aim, should not be difficult. Oh, the flick. Oh, I missed it. All right. Next setup. Okay, so the next setup is the AK-12C. I got this recommended a few times as well. And uh, we're definitely we're definitely sticking with a the theme here. All the guns so far have been carbines. But anyways, we do have the 9mm conversion on this. And it only has 20 bullets, but it has pretty high damage. So I'm uh, curious to see how this will do. And we've got a unique sight on this, the Barksa Electro. I don't see that very often. It's kind of just like a coyote sight with a different reticle, but it looks nice. Oh my. Okay, recoil. I'm just too used to the no recoil from the last one. Because this is feeling like a lot. Alright, first kill with the gun. Oh, what's he doing? Are we going up here? Alright, I guess we're we're sniping with the gun. Oh, I got a hit. I got a hit. What gun do you have? The Mosin. I do respect the choice, but why would it go up there? That was not a great kill. What? I'm so bad. Did that guy just disappear as well? I didn't get any assists or anything. All right, I don't know if we should be using this on highway. All right, here we go. Metro to the rescue. Okay, only 20 bullets. So I got... What was that? The guy was shooting at the ceiling. Uh-oh. I am not getting a single kill here. Okay, I got a double kill. Okay, a triple kill. We're getting places. No! <laughs> it has like no penetration either all right so far I'm, I'm sorry i don't like the gun wow i don't know I, I feel like there's just not a lot of gunfights that i'll like be guaranteed to win i really want to go on some sort of run with this just get like 20 kills oh okay i can't really tell if i just hate the gun or like just mildly dislike it it doesn't seem that great to me but i mean if this gun is actually like crazy good please point out to me the reason for that Okay, I mean, right as I say that, I start doing pretty good. I don't know the reason for that, but I don't know if it changes my opinion on the gun. Maybe I'm neutral. I don't know. All right, heading over to Desert for this next one because we're going to take a look at the Gyrojet series, um, which is the Gyrojet Carbine, and there's a secondary if I can find it. There we go. To be honest, I'm probably not going to use a secondary, let's be real, but I'm, I'm definitely going to use the primary. All I can say from this video so far is that the carbines are just crazy underrated. I definitely agree that the Gyrojet is good. I don't know if it's underrated though because... I, I'm seeing this gun quite a bit as of recently, but maybe there's more people that should know about it that don't. Uh, I don't know. It's also pretty high rank, so maybe that's also why it isn't used like super often. But yeah, this is a super cool gun because, I mean, the damage is like inverted, so you do more damage at long range because the gun, uh, when you shoot it, it accelerates because it's a rocket. So that's, you know, pretty interesting. But it's a one-shot torso all ranges, which is like, well, not all ranges, but like at long range, which is probably the most important part about this gun. And you can shoot it super fast. Like compared to other one-shot guns, like most of those are snipers and uh, they shoot pretty slow compared to this. Couple problems with this gun though, that make it like balance, of course. It doesn't have great muzzle velocity. In fact, it's like 1500, I think, which is, uh, it's hard to use. And then the other thing is that it has kind of a spread. So the bullet isn't really accurate. At least I think so. Like last I checked, I think so. If there's one thing I can say about this gun is that it's it's very fun to use. It is so unique. Like there's no other guns like this in the game. I mean, sure, there's there's guns that have wacky damage like the SVDS with 10 millimeter or whatever and the M107, but like, I don't know. This thing is just weird in a good way though. Look how fast you can spray this thing. I actually get annoyed whenever I get killed by this gun. Oh, the game ended and I got a headshot hit marker. 14 and 1 though. I don't want to stop using this gun that early. I'll join another desert. I joined second storm and we are getting spawn trapped. So I don't know if I'm looking forward to this. You know what? I think you can. Oh no, you can't. I thought you could put on the ballistics tracker. Maybe that was a thing and they removed it. Because I feel like I remember that being a thing. Maybe they just don't do it because it's inaccurate. I don't know. Oh, I got him. It's definitely hit or miss with this gun, like literally, <laughs> you either hit or you miss, but sometimes all the shots are hitting, and then other times, like, none of the shots are hitting. There's a guy over here? Uh-oh. Oh, he wasn't expecting that. 
what the okay i wasn't expecting that all right i think we're good with that gun next setup okay the next one is also a carbine i swear i did not realize this when i chose the setups but it's going to be the mc51 sd he didn't really give a setup for this so i'm just going with stubby grip and blue laser and the reflex sight and of course we have the integral suppressor otherwise it would just be the mc51 all right, I love dying to the E-gun. My favorite gun to die to. I gotta figure out some sort of way to get out of the spawn trap. Oh, there's a guy going two and 15. What have I done? I think I've doomed myself by joining this lobby. It's okay though. I'm gonna break out of the spawn trap. I love the guys that just sit on these pipe things. Like the whole game. Sneak attack. Bro, oh, this guy, thank you. All right, we're doing it. We're escaping. All right, as for the gun, I mean, I can't give a great opinion on the gun yet. I just had the, the gameplay hasn't been good. No, man, <laughs> he tried to he tried to shoot me with a can cannon. I don't I'm kind of confused why he was over there. Maybe he's guarding the hill. I don't know. No, OK, I didn't die. That would have made that experience way, way worse. Man, this is tough. This is this round is not going good, but you know, that's how life goes sometimes. You have your ups and downs, and you gotta take the downs when they come. Hope that was good life advice. All right, can I stay alive for more than 30 seconds? That's a big question. Okay, aside from how the gun actually performs, I just love the way it sounds. It is so nice. If I get over here, it's game over. I'm over here, okay. All right, what now? Did I think it through enough? Ooh, that guy almost didn't have a chance to even shoot me. I only have 13 bullets left. I don't know what to do. All right, I wasted nine of them on one guy. And there we go. And the game's over anyways. Cool. I've just noticed that it has insane close range damage. It actually two shots torso. So I joined another bazaar. Hopefully we can make use out of that close range potential. I have a feeling I could really like this. Yeah, there we go. Oh, um, <laughs> that was a jump scare. Whoa, you, you ever see someone running full speed at you? Nice. Oh my, <laughs> close one there. Jeez. That guy have an NTW? Bro, what, what are you doing? Okay, I'm probably gonna hop lobbies and uh, just go to the next gun. That was fun. I just couldn't manage to do really well with it, but I like it. Okay, here is the next loadout. He actually gave me a secondary too, which is just the Mateba, but the primary is the SL8 with a compensator stubby grip and blue laser. I should probably put a sight on this. I think just in general, I don't use the SL8 very much and DMRs either, I just don't really use them, but I have a feeling that the DMRs are just the most underrated gun class. Aside from the carbines, of course. Yeah, but DMR is like, I don't know. There's something just different about using them. And I feel like they're all like really pretty good. Wait, what? Does this thing have like no penetration? 1.3, all right. I feel like it should have a little more. But even with 1.3, I'm surprised that wasn't hitting. So this is kind of just like a semi-auto assault rifle, kind of. That's how I think of it. I, I like it a lot though because you can control the recoil so much better than you would with an auto just because you're like tap firing it Jeez, he was about to clonk me over the head with a bottle. Oh, I see you. <laughs> I see him I would definitely like for it to have more penetration though. That is like kind of the one complaint I have so far I wonder if you can just put AP on it. I might consider that if it's an option you can okay I really want to see if this is any better. Oh No, oh no <laughs> The hip fire isn't that good or it's just me i don't know i gotta i gotta take this guy out that's our spawn isn't it oh it's not wait <laughs> what i thought i was on the other team for the whole game they i guess they've just been spawn trapping us uh oh um <laughs> oh my i mean for a better player it probably wouldn't be so much of a problem but for me like close range trying to tap fire a gun that i mean doesn't do like so much damage it's uh it's just not not that easy to get kills at, at close range of course hi uh oh oh my <gasps> what <laughs> i've gotten jump scared like three times already i should be using the mateba shouldn't i it's part of the setup okay anyone who says youtubers only get into bot lobbies i don't know what they're talking about i feel like every lobby i've been in today has been like just insanely difficult mateba mateba <laughs> no there we go. We did it. Oh my. 
Hello. All right, um, good enough for that gun. I liked it. I give it a solid rating. Okay, so the next guy is recommending the Beowulf ECR with the uh, 5.56 conversion. Now, I got to figure out what to put on this. I'll just put on ARS, Stubby, and Blue Laser. Okay, I'm recording this after I get the following footage. He did mention to put on a Romanian grip, and uh, I didn't see it. But either way, it doesn't have recoil, so. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he says it's basically just an M16A3, just more off meta, I guess. Which I have heard, like, I I've heard people say it's a little bit worse. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, it's, it's got no recoil. I don't know if it's just me. I feel like whenever I play with the M16A3, it has more recoil than I think it does. Like, the M16A3 isn't, like, the ultimate no recoil gun, in my opinion. But, is there a guy there? Oh, there is. I got you. Starting off pretty strong, though, 9 and 1. Oh. What the, what, what just happened? I don't know. Oh, <gasps> no, no. From that far away, I, I wanted a good kill streak. All right, whatever. No, I see him. Does this have no pen? Oh, maybe I was shooting th <laughs> through, through the vending machine. That's understandable. If I can't shoot through the vending machine, like, no problem. So, I'm not good enough to really know, like, what the difference is between this and the M16A3 or, like, the C7A1 or whatever. But, uh, all I can tell you is that <laughs> this just feels like any other meta setup. Love how he's just standing in the window. Oh, hello. All right, anyways, next setup. That one was pretty good. Just felt like a meta setup. Okay, next gun is the L22 with this somewhat meta looking setup on it. But even though the attachments are kind of like, I don't know, pretty generic, I don't really see the L22 that often. And of course, it's a carbine. <laughs> okay, the recoil is a little weird. It's like, there's not a lot you can do to control it. No. Hi. Hi. Oh no, come on. Dude, you know how long it took me to like to try to never mind. Never mind. Doesn't matter. I like the sound of this gun. No. I gotta get better at flicking. There's something weird about this gun that makes me feel like I should be missing when I'm not. I don't know how to explain it really. I mean it it seems like it demolishes people. Good day to you, sir. Oh my. Did I just kill a policeman? That is a guy. I wasn't sure. No. I mean, that was the warehouse experience. Oh my god. What? <laughs> what just happened? I don't know what this lobby is, man. Oh, hello. Yeah, this gun does feel kind of like a laser. Just like, not the most reliable laser, if that makes sense. No, I'm sorry. That didn't make any sense. Oh, he's down here. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's definitely me. Okay, I think I'm good with that gun. I liked it. It was pretty good, actually. It was a little weird to use, but I don't know. It was definitely pretty good. Okay, we're going over to the battle rifles for the next one. He says, use the Henry with the 410 bore conversion, and it does 50 damage per pellet, and we got six pellets, so that's pretty interesting. The damage drop-off is pretty... It's pretty big though 15 at range compared to 50 at close range. I've never actually used this before. Yeah, I have like 10 kills on it, so let's see how it does. Not so good so far. It is kind of slow as well. Oh no, come on. Okay, they just invaded our spawn. There's like nowhere we can go now. Yeah, I don't know about this thing. It just feels like a really slow shotgun. Okay, come on. Maybe the spread is just really tight and I like, I don't know. I, I just completely missed. Oh, okay. Where's he at? Got him. Oh, I don't think he was ready for that. I gotta go up here. They're all up here. Okay, it was only two people. I think there were like three or four at one point. Nice. It doesn't seem very consistent for how far it can one shot. I mean, to be fair, it is a shotgun, so it shouldn't be. I feel like the range just isn't really cutting it. Then again, I am doing like, you know, not bad. Okay, yeah, that, I mean, that's fine. I don't know. It, it feels like acceptable. That's how I would classify it. It's like not amazing, but you can still make it work. But... Honestly, there's probably better shotguns. <laughs> what was that interaction? Hello. 
Yeah, like what is that thing it does at the end of the reload? Not sure about that. Anyways, next setup. Okay, we're going back to DMRs. This guy said the MSG90 is good. So I still don't know what setup to put on. I have the Pillad 3. <laughs> Might as well do that. All right, I'm gonna go ARS suppressor and stubby just like normal and then blue laser. And yeah, we're good. And just for a little damage summary, it basically two taps limbs at close range and then three tap at long range and a no one tap headshot. So it does fire pretty fast though. Okay, all right, I gotta get used to the fire rate. Okay, the recoil is, it, it's a little bit weird. It's not great, okay, it's not great. All right, interesting. You know, the weird thing is this thing has like headshot and torso multipliers, but they almost don't really do anything. Like it, it can't one tap headshot and it can't like two tap torso at range. It does shoot really fast though, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. The handling is quite weird though, but so far it's it's surprisingly fun. I just gotta get the fire rate correct and then, and then, whoa, were you stuck in the roof? Yeah, once I just learn how to use this, it's gonna be so good. I can already feel it. Oh my, okay, I guess the multipliers kinda do stuff. Like at long range, you don't need three shots if you do hit a headshot. And I guess I got a one shot headshot there probably damaged. All right, I can't get into a groove though. Nice. Oh. Oh no. Okay, survive that one. Okay, he didn't know I was there. Perfect. Nice. This is the groove I was just talking about. <laughs> wow. I feel like if someone mained this gun, they would almost be like unstoppable. It is it is quite good, I got to say. I'm just not used to it, you know. There we go. All right, I was doing pretty good with that. I really like it, but for now, I think I wanna to go to the next setup. Okay, so the M16 A1 with the M855 ammo type is the next underrated setup. Also, don't really have anything for this. I'll just go with what I've been using. Let me put on a site, there we go. So this gun came out and I like, I used it for like 160 kills and then I never use it again, but I've heard it's pretty good. So it's kind of good that I'm getting to try it out again. It, it seems like it's just like it kills so quickly and I don't know how much I've used the M855 Yeah, it has a little bit more recoil than like most of the other You know, like M1683 definitely has less recoil than this, but this is I think a three shot at close range I I meant to prone there and I didn't let me check. Okay. Yeah, three shot at close range What is he doing there? Oh, please. Yes no no come on man i was on like a six multi i could have got so many there there are like three more people okay and this is kind of weird this server is like there's not a lot of people in it compared to most servers it's like 24 people in the lobby but it is so active i mean yeah this gun's pretty good it's also the metro effect i feel like any gun becomes good on metro i don't know it hits different using a suppressor on a gun it just makes a gun like automatically nicer to use Dude, this thing kills so quick. Hi. Yeah, this thing is good. I like this a lot. I, I kind of just realized, like, I don't know if this gun is <laughs> technically underrated. Like, I, I think it's a pretty popular gun. I mean, sure, it doesn't get used as much as, like, the M16A3, but I have seen this gun, like, quite a bit. No. I'm trying to get 100. Oh, I think I did it. Yep, 100. I haven't dropped a 100 kill game in a while. So yeah, I mean, this gun is definitely good. I don't know if it's like underrated though, but yeah, it's pretty good. And then the last setup is actually another carbine. So we're gonna use the 1858 carbine now. Here's just a funny setup that I put on it. It makes it basically a sniper. But yeah, this thing actually got... I love dying to the BFG. It's my favorite thing. So yeah, this thing actually got a pretty pretty good buff in the recent update, and it made it a lot more like a sniper. But this thing is kind of like um sort of like a scout almost. It shoots at like 130 RPM, one shot head all ranges, 3,000 muzzle velocity. I mean, it's basically just it's it's basically just a scout. It's just weird how much muzzle velocity you can give it. It also reloads super quick. Like I'll show you the reload. <laughs> I mean, isn't that like really fast? One guy down, another guy down. There's a guy in here. Not anymore. Dude, these guys are good. This is some serious competition right here. Man, I just love sniping with weird guns. All right, the game's over. I didn't use this gun for too long, but I think you get the idea. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have other underrated setups that you want me to cover, and I'll be happy to do that. But anyways, really hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, good morning.